In this video, I will show you how you can make simple ragdolls for Godot 4.3. Most of the bone classes are actually depreciated, which means that they will be likely to change in the future. Start by importing your model into Godot. For this demonstration, I'll be using a model from Mixamo with an idle animation. I've also set up the test scene with a floor. Once you've got your model imported into Godot, drag it into your scene, right click it and press editable children. Click on the skeleton node and near the scene tab you will find a button with a skeleton icon. Click it and press create physical skeleton. In the node tab you will now see physical bone nodes. Quick note, if the collisions aren't set up properly then you will need to find out the scale of the bones. For Mixamo it's 0.01. Go into all the collision shapes and scale them by this amount. Next, we need to delete all the bones we don't want, like the fingers and toes, but in this case, it would just be the fingers. For the hand, we're going to make a capsule shape and make it the general size of the hand. For any changes to the bone transforms that you need to change on both sides, just duplicate the change node and then set the bone name to the opposite. For any collisions that don't align properly, you will need to go through and correct them. Now create a new script and add this line of code. This starts the ragdoll simulation. You can create an array of bones as a parameter if you only wanted a select amount of bones to ragdoll. Here you can see the first test and it does not look good. This is because Godot's physics engine is not great with, well, physics. So instead we are going to download Jolt physics engine. To do this, head to the asset library and search Jolt and download the one with the tornado icon. It will then prompt you to save and restart. Once you've done that, head to the project settings and in the physics tab should be one called 3D and then set the engine to Jolt. After testing it again, it's looking much better but it's still not looking good. To fix this, select all the bone nodes and on the right you will see a category called join. Change the type to 6DOF join. And as you can see, it looks much better. To change how the ragdoll is impacted, we set the linear velocity of the individual bone. For the root bone, I named it hip and then in the script we set the linear velocity. As you may have noticed, the spine twists really weirdly. To fix this, select the spine node and under joint constraints, set the X, Y and Z angular limits of the upper and lower. This can vary bone to bone. Here you can see it's a bit more realistic. These are some early attempts to making some gun impacts, but you may have noticed the zombie can fall through the floor. The only way I know how to fix this is by setting the physics tick from 60 to 90. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helped you out.